Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that was so desire! Welcome everybody to Jones TV and welcome to Sunday Night Heat. And we are here in a packed house in New Orleans, Louisiana as the Owen Hart Classic continues on with three amazing matches this evening. We also have a matchup tonight that involves Peyton Royce and Naomi. But as you can see right now, here comes KO, Kevin Owens making his way down to the ring. In this first round matchup in Owen Hart Classic, Kevin Owens will love to win this tournament and hopefully become a world champion once again, like he has been a universal champion before. Also, the fact he liked to win this tournament because one of his favorite wrestlers ever was Owen Hart back in the day. He's been slamming his way down to the ring, looking at the tournament brackets now. The winner of this matchup between Kevin Owens and Mark Henry. We'll be facing off Seth Rollins at Class of Champions. Seth Rollins, the last episode, defeated Cassius Zono in a very back to forth matchup. But enough about last week. It's about this week. And KO is now in the ring. Kevin Owens, as he walks around, waiting for Mark Henry to make his way down to the ring. Looking eager and determined to win this matchup. But he must not take Mark Henry too lightly. Because Mark Henry is our current U.S. champion, winning it at WrestleMania against Baron Corbin. The Hall of Pain is up. Wait a minute, Jenna Mahal came out here. Out, out here, I don't think Mark Henry's aware. He's still making his way down to the ring. Mark Henry is. Jenner with a shot back. Jenner with shots and elbows right to the face of Henry. He's not even supposed to be out here right now. Supposed to be a matchup between Mark Henry and Kevin Owens. Jinder has a U.S. title in his hand. Mark Henry is totally trying to recover himself at that little beating that Jinder gave him. And Jinder with a shot with the title. Run to the face of Henry. The modern day Maharaja. Just taking out Mark Henry for a moment. And Kevin Owens went to the outside and tried to drag Mark Henry back into the ring. Henry's throwing in. And a shot by Owens. And a stop by Owens. And both men are not getting back into the ring. The bell hasn't even officially rung yet. But I believe it started as the referee's not trying to stop it. And KO with shots and chops. Ryan to Henry. And there goes the bell. Starting to match up between these two. Henry's at a disadvantage. As Kevin Owens throws him to the post. Kevin Owens with a quick advantage with a knee shot. Round to the face of Henry. After what Jinder Mahal just did. An elbow drop on the Henry. Mark Henry got to do something to recover here. KL's trying to look for the pop-up powerbomb already. Henry reverse with an arm drag. Henry's looking at KO. Henry set him up. World strongest slam and he takes down KO for the cover. One, two, three, no. Owens kicked out of two and a half. Mark Kearney got a surprising upset here. After being attacked by General Hall for the match even started. Henry's still trying to fight. Owens with a shot back. Owens with a pop up power bomb by Owens. Here's the cover. One, two, three. And Kevin Owens won this matchup in advance to the class of champions. He can't be too proud of himself here. That's the way it happened before the matchup between these two with Jim Hall attacking from behind. But it doesn't matter as KO hit him with a pop up power bomb for the one, the two, the three. 
and Kevin Owens is advancing in the All Heart Classic. He is going to face Seth Rollins at Class of Champions, and hopefully for him, he'll advance on and win that tournament, and possibly end up becoming a champion again in the WWE. As Mark Henry is laying on the ground, out, rolling out of the ring, he can't be too happy what happened here tonight. Here comes one half of the iconic duo, Peyton Royce. And she's making her main roster debut here on Sunday Night Heat as the Triple H disbanded NXT from the takeover he had of the company. As Peyton makes her way down, accompanied to the ring by Billy Kay, like always. She likes to make a big name herself here in WWE. And she'll definitely have a shot to do it this night on Sunday Night Heat against Naomi, the former women's champion here in the WWE. As she walks to the ring with that flower of hers. Naomi got to be a little trepidatious in this matchup because Billy Kay will be on the outside accompanying Peyton like always. Probably not for sure. It wouldn't be surprising that she try to interfere in this matchup if things don't go in Royce's way. But on top of Naomi worrying about Billy Kay, she doesn't worry about Peyton because she is a pretty good wrestler here. And she's willing to show her best on Sunday Night Heat in this matchup. But are you ready to feel the glow of Naomi? And you see the crowd in Louisiana on her feet. As Naomi's making her way down to the ring. Like I said before, are you ready to feel the glow? Naomi being a former two-time women's champion is hoping to make her way back to the top once again. Rather be against Charlotte or Becky Lynch when that title will be unified. That class of champions between the two. But Naomi needs to make sure she focuses on Peyton Royce tonight to move up in the rankings of the women's division. As he jumps in the ring. And you see Peyton walking around the outside. Not caring about the dancing out here. Her and Billy Kay. Just looking on at Naomi. As both women looking ready in the ring. And it's an exciting matchup on Sunday night. Heat. And here we go. Peyton's dragging Naomi around to the ropes. Guy on the ropes already. And throws her down to the mat. Like I said, Peyton would love to make a name for herself here tonight. Against Naomi on Sunday night Heat. But Naomi hit her with a drop kick. And now trying to take control of this matchup against the Venus Flytrap. Peyton with a shot to the gut. Peyton caught her. No! He hit her with a face buster like maneuver on the Naomi. And Roy so far has been in full control of this matchup. Except for that quick drop kick by Naomi. Dropping a knee into the back of Naomi. It's Billy Kay looking on to the outside. Cheering her iconic duo teammate on. A shot to the knee. And a reverse Russian leg sweep by Royce. Throwing Naomi to the ropes. Come back around. Naomi with an arm drag taking down Royce. Naomi with a shot to the back of the head. Bulldog by Naomi. And then a leg drop to add on to the damage that she's putting on Royce right now. Like you said, we do have a unification match between Charlotte and Becky Lynch at Class of Champions. 
both being the champions of their former brands. One with Becky Lynch was the champion of Raw, and Charlotte was the champion of SmackDown, which are two shows that are no more here in the WWE. And Peyton was trying to dare Naomi to get up, and Naomi couldn't get up. So she was attacked her. And in that kick by Peyton, knocking Naomi back down to the ground, a shot to the gut. Roy trying to set her up. Naomi with a reversal, shot to the face. And with a jawbreaker, taking down Royce. Billy Kay looking on kind of concerned. Royce is slowly getting up. Springboard splash missed by Naomi. The high risk maneuver might have cost her. The Royce is on the attack now. Naomi with a boot to the face. Eyes went to the corner. Billy Kay looking on, kind of worried. Naomi going to the top. Split legged moonsault. Billy Kay is going towards the top of that apron, trying to trap the referee. And Naomi is trying to take down Peyton, and she's going for the FTG. The ref's trying to see if Peyton wants to get tap out with Peyton, Peyton getting out of it. A little distraction by Billy Kay might have helped. Peyton working on the arm of Naomi right now. And taking down the glow girl himself. Now Peyton's waiting for Naomi to get up. See now she's going for the Venus fly trap suplex? No. Actually she's going for multiple suplexes here. And there goes the Venus fly trap. One, two, three. And Peyton has won this matchup against Naomi. Her first ever matchup in the main roster here in the WWE on Sunday Night Heat. Hitting Naomi with the Venus Fly Trap Suplex for the one, the two, the three. With a little help from Billy Kay to distract the referee. While Naomi is trying to set up the FTG on the Royce. But Royce got out of that. And then hit her with the Phoenix Fly Trap. And that's a huge win for Peyton Royce here at Sunday Night Heat. As we continue on in the All Heart Classic, another first round matchup. Between this man, the Swiss Army Machine, the professional, Cesaro. He's getting a sea of booze at the moment. You cannot, you cannot deny the talent of this man. Are you saw another Cesaro section. He makes his way down to the ring. He is one of the most underrated wrestlers here in the WWE, and he'll love making a name for himself by winning the main championship here after winning this tournament if he advances on. Cesaro goes up to the top rope. Like I said, trying to play to the crowd, but the crowd is not having it with him tonight. They look on to the All Heart Classic brackets. We see that Kevin Owens did advance tonight, and his opponent will be Seth Rollins at Classic Champions. Where wins this matchup between Cesaro and Bobby Roode, who are facing Sami Zayn at Class of Champions, who defeated Neville in our last episode of Sunday Night Heat. And here comes the glorious one himself, Bobby Roode. And it seems to me that none of these men are a fan favorite here tonight in New Orleans. But that doesn't matter nothing to Bobby Roode, the former NXT champion. He'll love to win this tournament and hopefully to become the world champion here in the WWE. But like I said, he has to first get through Cesaro and potentially get through Sami Zayn 
or whoever else he has to compete against at Class of Champions. If he even makes it past here on Sunday Night Heat. As Cesaro looks onto the ring, patiently or impatiently waiting for Rude to do his entrance. Because he does have quite a long entrance. But in his eyes, it's well deserved because he is the glorious one. As Bobby Roode finally walking down the aisle, slowly doing his Ric Flair esque strut down to the ring. Cesaro is looking for a fight. And I hope that Bobby Roode is ready for one himself. Because if he's not, he will be neutralized and been taken out of this tournament. Like I said, Bobby Roode is a former NXT champion. He was one of the last champions in NXT before the brand was disbanded. Like I said, he slowly makes his way into the ring, get on the apron, finally getting into the ring. Bobby Roode being Canadian himself, would love to win this champion, love, not the championship. But love to win this on heart classic and honor on heart. He believes he's that glorious. He's gonna have to prove it here against a professional, the Swiss Army machine, Cesaro, here tonight on Sunday Night Heat. Like I said, neither man are a fan favorite here. But you cannot deny both of their athletic abilities. Both of their prowess here in the WWE. And Rue with a quick takedown on the Cesaro. By Rue trying to set up Cesaro. Try to take him to the ropes, it seems. Cesaro reversing with shots to the gut. And then a last shot to the gut. Cesaro is coming back around. Try to set up Rue now with an uppercut. Those vicious uppercuts by Cesaro. Trying to go for a slam reversal by Rue. Shot to the back. Rue with a rolling net breaker taking out Cesaro. And now it's now the glorious ones in control, wringing the neck of Cesaro. Bobby Rude. He's trying to take control of this matchup. Jawbreaker by Cesaro. Cesaro trying to show his power, his strength with a cross arm. Power bomb by Cesaro taking down the glorious one. As Cesaro is heading to the top rope. Rude's trying to recover. Cesaro the top of the elbow drop. Round to Bobby Rude. And now since Cesaro is in control of this matchup, giving him stomps and kicks onto the glorious one. Cesaro trying to drag him to the ropes. He gets him there. Cesaro throwing Rude to the side of the ring. Springboard uppercut. By a professional. And the cover. One. No. Not even a one count. Rude kicked out very quickly from that uppercut. And Rude with a shot to the guts. Coming back. Clothesline. By the glorious one. And now Rude's heading to the top rope himself. What is he going to do? And he drops the knee and he missed. By Rude risked the knee. Well, he's got a part of that knee. On the Cesaro's knee. In the cover. Where's the referee going to count? One. One count. He could have possibly gone for a three count. The referee didn't take so long to get to it. And Bobby Roode, like always, worrying about the crowd. Instead of worrying about his opponent. As Cesaro slowly raising up. A chop by Roode. Trying to go for a slam. Cesaro reverses. Cesaro took a boot. Bobby reverses into the clothesline. One of these two men will be heading to the Class of Champions to face Sami Zayn in the second round matchup. And Cesaro lands rude with a German suplex. Recovered by Cesaro. One. One count. I'm not even sure that was a one count. He just kicked out fast as he could. Bobby Roode, these fast kickouts. Wasting no time to get a surprise pinfall on him. As Rude and Cesaro keep countering every Mitch move they try to go for. Cesaro try to have Rude up and drops him 
across the rope, across his neck. Cesaro stomping out Bobby Roode. The strength of Cesaro being shown in this matchup when he takes him down to the mat. Bayrou might be in trouble here. He doesn't mount some kind of offense very soon. Cesaro's giving head shots. He throws him down to the mat. Recovered by Cesaro. One, two, two count. Bayrou kicks out. And Cesaro's getting a little bit frustrated in this matchup now. Working on the neck of Bobby Roode. It's Cesaro. Picks up Roode. Rude trying to come back with a shoulder block. Rude's trying to get a breather across the turnbuckle. Also telling Cesaro to come on. Rude. Kicking Cesaro in the midsection. Bobby looking on a, at the crowd here. Still attacking his opponent. Moses and Mario still got him. As he's stomping out the hand and the arms. A Cesaro. This is Bobby Roode's pace. Let's work methodical pace here. As Cesaro just drops to the floor. As Roode continues to stop out the adamant. A Cesaro. Work at this little methodical pace. Spawn Buster by the glorious one. Going for the cover. One, two. He got by Cesaro. And Bobby Roode can't believe it. He thought he had him with that spine buster. Bobby Roode sits and tries to figure out what he's going to do next. Cesaro slowly getting to his feet. He rolls out. Drop kick by Cesaro. Roode wasting too much time trying to figure out what to do after he kicked out of that spine buster. Cesaro trying to set him up. And he takes him down with a snap there. And then a shot to the back. But Roode's right back up. Roode with a kick to the gut. Roode out of nowhere. Trying to go for the Boris DDT. And he got him. Boris DDT by Rude. Singly out of nowhere. One, two, three. Bobby Rude advances to the class of champions. I don't know how Bobby Rude even got it in him. But somehow, where Rizard kicked him in his back, it woke him up. To hit him with the glorious DDT for the one, the two, the three. And Bobby Roode advances to the class of champions. He will be facing Sami Zayn. One of those two men would advance on the tournament. And maybe possibly one of those two will go on to win it and go on to face either Samoa Joe or Braun Strowman at Backlash. And if things go in Roode's way, you can possibly see him as the main guy, the top guy, the world champion of the WWE in a couple of months. But right now, it is just a glorious victory of Sunday Night Heat. So that's the reason why he attacked Mike Henry. Another shot at the United States Championship. Jinder Mahal does. Mark Henry got nowhere to chop. A headbutt. And he's got the modern day Maharaja. He throws on this the wall. Jinder like he's been taken out by surprise. And he's throwing again. It's Jinder Mahal. My goodness. I think he got Mark Henry's answer, Jinder. I think he got his answer. And he's looking at the final match of the evening. There's another first round matchup in All Heart Classic. Between the Viper, the Apex Predator himself, Randy Orton. He's going to face on AJ Styles. This should be a great matchup here on Sunday Night Heat. As things are escalated quickly, as Mark Henry is fighting with Jinder Mahal in the back, as the Jinder cost Mark Henry his spy at Class of Champions. In that on a heart classic. Which must highly upset Mark Henry considering that he was friends with On Heart when it was both members of the nation of domination back in the day. As Randy Orton gets into the ring, 
He's looking to get back to the top of the mountain. But first, let's get past the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, and make his way to Class of Champions. Seem to be a fan favorite tonight. Everybody here is looking for an RKO out of nowhere. Against a phenomenal one. As Reyna get himself ready in the middle of the ring. But you cannot take this man right here slightly. As the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, comes out to the ring. AJ Styles being a two-time world champion. Slowly making his way down to the ring himself. Hoping to become a champion again. After losing the title to Samoa Joe at WrestleMania. He has to start from the bottom. Let's make it back to the top. And the bottom starts here at Sunday Night Heat against Randy Orton in the Owen Hart Classic. He's looking at the brackets. As you see in this match right here, Randy Orton is going to face AJ Styles. And we're in this match. We'll face a winner in the next episode between The Miz, the Intercontinental Champion, and Finn Balor. And they will be facing off between Randy Orton or AJ Styles at Class of Champions in the second round of the Owen Hart Classic. As phenomenal AJ Styles is looking ready and eager to reach that mountaintop once again here in the WWE. Both men former world champions both men ready to fight and here we go in a pay-per-view caliber matchup here on Sunday Night Heat between AJ Styles and Randy Orton as AJ Styles hit him with a bat breaker he trying to set up Randy looks to be a suplex no brain buster by the phenomenal one AJ Styles being a recent champion here losing his title Samoa Joe at this past WrestleMania. Randy Orton being a multi-time a multi-time champion. Winning the belt over 10 times here. Both know what to do to get back to the mountaintop. They just have to work hard to get there. And AJ Styles is just beating up Randy Orton over this matchup. Hitting him with arm drags and chops. The ref is down. But AJ Styles with a net breaker. AJ to the middle rope. The rest leg getting up. Elbow drop by the phenomenal one. As AJ Styles is in complete control of this matchup, messing with the crowd. But don't take the Apex Predator short. You do not call him the Apex Predator for nothing. He used to call him the Legend Killer for taking all them legends of wrestling. As Randy Orton is finally in control. And the Snake Eyes onto the turnbuckle. Russian leg sweep by Randy Orton. As the crowd's coming alive here in Louisiana, in New Orleans, as Randy Orton with a DDT on the AJ Styles. Randy's trying to take advantage, but AJ with an arm drag reversal, a cover by AJ, one, not even a one count. He even get the one before Randy kicked out. AJ with a shot to the chest with those kicks. AJ trying to set him up for a power bomb and he got it. For the most part, AJ Styles been fully controlling this matchup. He's telling Randy to get up. Randy slowly raises. AJ on the outside. Springboard's in. Springboard blockbuster by AJ Styles. He throwing a two sweet sign. Knee drop by Styles. Randy needs to do something quick or this match will be over very shortly. Styles try to go for a chop. Randy gets out of it. Randy gets him and takes him down. Luther Express punches to the face by the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. He's already attacking the arms of AJ Styles. Throw Styles to the turnbuckle. Randy try to go for a move. Styles counters and takes down Orton. Styles has been one, 
one count. Orton kicked out of that. Styles has been in complete control of this matchup, except for one small flurry by Randy Orton. Orton still on the ground. Styles with a slash to the back. Styles with another knee into the face of Orton. I wouldn't be surprised if Styles tried to go for the Styles class very shortly here in this matchup. A chop by AJ. AJ with another knee. Snap in there, taking down Orton. Orton's going to do something very quickly. And this match is going to be over. He's not going to advance onto the class of champions in the Owen Hart Classic. As AJ Styles is having him in a headlock. Orton slowly trying to get out. Shots to the gut by Randy. Randy with those shots to the gut to get out of it. And then uh, Olympic slam by Orton. Taking down Styles. And now Orton is on the offensive. He's not in control of this matchup with clotheslines and shots on the Styles. Styles will go to the clothesline. Randy rushes to a power slam. And the Apex Predator is on the prowl here. And AJ Styles all of a sudden. And now he's stomping out Styles' arms and legs. Just continuously stomping out AJ Styles in the last one going to the head. And Orton just keeps continuously stomping on him. Uh oh. Is Randy going to get him? AJ don't know where he is exactly. RKO! RKO by Orton. One. Two, three. Randy Orton somehow, some way wins this matchup against AJ Styles. He advances in All Heart Classic. He advances and goes on to Classic Champions to either face The Miz or Finn Balor and hitting the RKO on AJ Styles for the one, the two, the three. And the Viper. It's slowly making his way back to the top with that huge victory against the former champion in AJ Styles. When it seems to be like AJ Styles had quick control of this matchup, Orton somehow came back very quickly after those elbow shots to the gut, after hitting them with the clotheslines and the power slam with the stomps all over the body, ending up with the RKO as Randy Orton celebrates his victory. And looking ahead on to Class of Champions. Thank you for joining us on Sunday Night Heat. We'll see y'all next time.